I love that music. I do too. We want to keep that. <laughs> the next stop on our Summer Spirits Tour is deeply rooted in Pittsburgh's history. Its name is Wiggle Whiskey. A little over 10 years ago, it became the first licensed distillery in Pittsburgh dating back to the days of Prohibition. Named after Philip Wiggle, a fi famous distiller from the Whiskey Rebellion, the Strip District hotspot is really all about heritage. And Daisy Jade is live there to discover how this iconic distillery is connecting Pittsburgh past to its present. Good morning, Daisy. Good morning, David and Heather. Yes, again, there is so much history connected to this place, and we're going to learn more about it right now. I'm actually with the production manager, Alex. And Alex, there's a really cool tie to this particular area but, but regarding whiskey. Yeah, so this place is actually the uh, spot of the Whiskey Rebellion that happened here in western Pennsylvania. So um, that's where we get our namesake through Philip Wiggle, or Weigel, uh, as many like to pronounce it. And uh, so this is where it started late 18th century, and this is where we fought for our right to make whiskey without being overly taxed on it. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Well, nobody wants to be taxed, yeah. but we want to drink. So tell us about what you have here. We're going to do a quick little tasting. Yeah, so the sample to our left, that's going to be our straight bourbon whiskey. And then the sample to our right, that's our straight rye. So those are the core expressions in our lineup. Those are the uh, products of which everything else is really based upon there. So. so for like a beginner like me, these are pretty good to start off with. Exactly. It's not going to be overly complex, but it's still going to be really good whiskey. All right, so this is the bourbon. And is there yeah. a specific way you're supposed to... Do a tasting, I guess. I don't know. Like so, wine? So, yeah, similar to wine, I would nose it. You know, you get uh, different aromas coming off there. And this has been in the glass for a while, so you get a lot of, uh, you know, potent, rich flavors. Um, but really, the exciting part is when you get to dive into it. So, so I'm diving into it. Woo! Yeah. So, now again, I'm a beginner, but that was incredible. So, how about this one? Which one's this one again? And this is our straight rye whiskey. So, uh, instead of uh, corn as the dominant grain, this is going to be using rye. Well, I'm going to taste this one too. Oh, wow. I taste a distinct difference. Yeah. So the bourbon's going to be a little sweeter. The rye is going to have a little bit more of that spice, that kick to it. Oh, yeah. I definitely can taste that. Now, in case people want to learn more, you have uh, tasting notes with Trask on Instagram, so you can get a deeper dive by following you. But in the meantime, we're going to do try some cocktails because we have, uh, uh, we have, uh, um, I'm sorry, what is it called again? The gonna, <laughs> old fashioned. Yeah, we're going to make our house old fashioned today. Yep. So uh, I'll just walk you through it real quick. Um, first step, we use a brown sugar simple syrup. This guy's a one to one here. Just gonna add that to the mixing glass. You said there's only like three ingredients, right? There are, yes, it is the quintessential cocktail. So we got spirit, bitters, uh, sugar, and water. Next we're gonna do two ounces of our PA straight rye that you just tasted with Alex. To the top there, and we go. Brad, I love how fancy you are with your uh, mixing here. <laughs> Try my best. Uh, next we're gonna do some bitters, usually four dashes for us here. Bitters in. And now we got some ice. We got some ice coming in here. Now this I'm excited to try because again you said this is kind of good for like more of a beginner somebody again like me that maybe not be familiar with um, yeah. too much of whiskey but it's a nice easy way to 100% if you access. still want to get that nice whiskey flavor without uh, just going straight for the spirit itself this is a nice like little crutch to get you into whiskey yeah. well now I'm definitely not going to forget the name of this because this is what I'm going to look for every time I come out <laughs> Single straining, yep, yep, yep. All right, so I get to try it, right? You can, yes, give me one second. Oh. Oh. Oh, with those beautiful ice cubes. Oh. All right. Well, Heather and David, I'm going to be drinking a little bit. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, right? Sure. I mean, yeah. you know, that's part of the job. No, you're there to taste test for us and let us know how it tastes. And do you see, they garnish like you do, like with the fancy little thing. Oh, you yeah, saw, you yeah. saw. And, <laughs> do you have those big ice cubes ever? Do you ever make the big? Yes. So it changes I love the that. whole cocktail. It does. So, I, I like it. It's and so much of it is presentation. It too. really like, is. They do a great job there. 